is Raina. Thank you for joining me on my crochet channel. In this tutorial, I will show you how to crochet the kayak beanie. And why do I call it a kayak beanie? It's um, because I went kayaking recently in this beautiful place called Scapoose Bay here in Oregon. And uh, looking at those uh, fun, colorful boats uh, called kayaks uh, and coming back home I came up with this uh, uh, pattern for the beanie. I decided to call it kayak beanie because of the great vibrant colors um, of this yarn and so uh, this is the awesome uh, landscapes fusion yarn by Lion Brand and I uh, was so happy to find uh, matching uh, faux fur pom-poms as well. And this is really easy to do. It's quick. It's a uh, one skein beanie. And um, so I definitely recommend this uh, for beginners. And to measure my beanie, it's... Uh, about eight and a half inches from side to side and uh, also about eight and a half from uh, top to bottom and I'm using the beautiful yarn from Lion Brands uh, it's called Landscapes uh, Fusion uh, and this one, one skein is 100 grams, 100 meter. And so this is one skein beanie. Uh, this is enough. 100% acrylic. And this color is called Fort Tryon. So it has this dark blue, dark purple, green, and orange colors. And uh, I'm using a faux fur pom-pom with elastic cord. My crochet hook is 5.5 millimeters. And uh, you also need tapestry needle and scissors. And let's get started. And we start with slip knot. And then chain 31. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And the first row, we're going to half double crochet in each chain, uh, starting with the second chain from hook. So in here, I'm gonna make my first half double crochet. And now just half double crochet in each chain you'll have a total of 30 and when the first row is done chain one and turn and this chain doesn't count as a stitch and now we're going to half double crochet in back loops only so yarn over insert hook in that first stitch but not through both loops but the back loop only here and make the half double crochet And with the back loop stitches, you'll see this uh, nice row forming here. 
And so you know when you see that this is the right side of the hat. And the last stitch on each row, on each back loop uh, row, is uh, uh, inserting hook through both loops. Not just this back loop, but both. That way the edge will be stronger, firmer. Uh, then chain one and turn, and row three is the wrong side. And we have double crochet, inserting hook through both loops. So both of these upper loops. chain one and turn and row four repeats row two so we make half double crochets in back loops only And the last stitch on this row goes through both loops here. Chain one and turn. Row five repeats row three. Uh, half double crochet through both loops. And then just uh, repeat these two rows, two and three. The right side is the half double crochet back loops and the wrong side half double crochet through both loops. And you'll see these rows forming here on the right side. And I finished 46 uh, rows and now my piece measures um, about 17 inches long and eight and a half inches uh, wide and I finished on the right side so here I made the last stitch so this was the back loop uh, half double crochet stitches the last stitch through both loops and if it helps, you can put a stitch marker here to show that this is going to be the the edge, the bottom edge for the hat, for the beanie. And uh, here I have just a little bit of yarn left. Uh, and now we're going to slip stitch the edge. Uh, so let's fold the piece so the right side will stay inside this is the wrong side fold it this way turn here's my working loop and we're going to make slip stitches along the edge so here's my working loop I'm going to insert my hook first through both loops here in the first stitch and then also through the first chain loops this is the foundation chain that we started with so insert hook through here bring the yarn back and so pull it through the chain the stitch and also through the loop on hook that's the first slip stitch and then Insert hook through the next stitch and also through the next chain. On the other side, yarn over, pull it through all the loops on hook. And again, insert hook through 
through next stitch through the next stay chain yarn over and pull through all so this is how I attach and you can count you will have 30 slip stitches And here is my last one here. And now um, we can cut off, but um, leave quite a long tail. So I still have a little bit of left here. So I'm leaving a long tail because now we can use it to uh, stitch through the edge here and make the top of the beanie. So pull it, pull this together for the pom-pom because here this edge is our bottom edge. And so now I will fasten off with the long tail. Turn it and bring your uh, tapestry needle. I'm using uh, not the widest one, not the biggest needle um, because um, we need to make quite a few stitches here uh, on the upper edge so that it will be tight so first of all um, I want to turn my hat right side out and now I can start stitching here I'm going to insert my needle through all the rows so I start here bring it back up here then go in here again back up here it's easy to follow with these loops in here up here So do this uh, all around and I'm uh, back to the beginning and as I stitched I already pulled the edge tighter closer so now you can do more of that pull as much as you can And I'm going to turn it inside out again. Bring the needle through here. I'm going to make these tighter stitches on the inside. And now I just uh, stitch, um, try to stitch along the edge and so I can pull it even tighter.
so now I have a small hole here left I'm going to bring my pom-pom with elastic paint and I'm going to make a knot it's not very long so And then I'm going to insert it through the inside because that's the right side here. So bring the bring it up here. And now I'm just gonna hold it with my index finger while I'm while I keep stitching because it's still not tight enough to hold the pom pom. Oh, so I go around a few more times and each time I pull, pull it tighter. So this is quite tight now. <clears throat> I'm going to make another knot. I just want to do a few more stitches to make sure it's completely tight. So do uh, as many stitches as you would like here until it's totally secured. It's a really strong yarn, so you can pull it without uh, breaking it, so that's great. And I think this is now tight enough. The double knot is not going to slip through here. So I'm ready to cut off here. And... One more thing to uh, weave in this uh, beginning tail. Just a few stitches here with that. And cutting off that one too. And we're finished. We can now turn it around. And here it is. The hat. The... And the beanie is finished. I think it's easy. The hardest part was uh, uh, the stitches here to attach the pom-pom but uh, otherwise this is uh, something quick and easy to do plenty of time to make some beanies or uh, holiday gifts
Uh, so I hope you uh, have fun making your own kayak beanie with my tutorial. Let me know if you have any questions and uh, you'll find more helpful tips uh, on my website when you click the written pattern link in the description box. And thank you so much for watching. Happy crocheting!